Welcome to Food Talk with Sharon. Today's recipe is a very easy curry or a side dish, a gravy dish that you can have with rice and even with rotis. It's a kadi. Now, kadi typically is made in many different ways, called using different names across India. What we are going to make is with raw mangoes. So that's the reason there's no yogurt which is added to it, but it's a raw mango kadi. So let's quickly check out the recipe. But before we do that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And do hit that bell icon too and turn on all notifications. So let's quickly check out the recipe. To make this curry, the first step is to whisk together some uh, basin or gram flour and water. So you can do this while the cooking is happening as well. I prefer to whisk it and keep it aside so that it is ready to add as soon as the mangoes are cooked. Today, I'm going to use the Bergner Triply Saute Pan. And over the last two months, I've had some time to use this in my regular cooking as well. So as promised, I'm going to share my feedback about this product too through this video. So for this curry, I'm using ghee. So into this, let's first add some mustard seeds, cumin seeds and fenugreek. Next goes in some hing or asafoetida, curry leaves and a few red chilies. You can just break it into two and add. To this, let's also add some turmeric powder and give this a quick stir. Into this goes in the raw mangoes. Now add some water, so this will help the mangoes cook better and faster. So let this come to a boil and then let's cover it and cook it for about 5 minutes till the mangoes are cooked slightly. I have used this Bergner saute pan to make a few gravy dishes and also uh, dishes or recipes which require the ingredients to be reduced quite a bit. Now what I liked is because of that flat surface, the gravies get cooked much faster and even reduction of things like milk happens much faster than in a kadai or in a narrower vessel. So I've really been liking cooking my dishes in this and well, yes, our raw mangoes are almost cooked and we can now proceed with adding the basin mix to this. So even though the handle of this pan as well as the lid is all in stainless steel, but it doesn't get hot. So that makes it really convenient as well. You can hold it without any issues or fear of getting a burn. So let's season with some salt. So I'd like to add some more water to this and then bring it to a boil and turn it off. So the raw mango curry is ready here. Now as a finishing touch, I personally like to add a little bit of tempering. So in some ghee, I usually add a tiny bit of mustard seeds, cumin seeds, some dry red chilies, 
uh, if you prefer that, or chili powder. So that adds a slight color when you add it on top and some curry leaves. And that tempering I add it on top after I serve this.